Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be, feel, be, I'll be doing a Wilco's Blocks spaceship with an astronaut figure. These are based, this is basically Wil, um, Wilkinson's own brand, own brand and compatible Lego. So this is like a spaceship. Um, it's very, very much based on the old um, space Lego. So, but it's a, but these sets are significantly cheaper, and I don't think the figures aren't as aren't as good as the, as you get with Lego. But yeah, they do sort of quite good builds. One of my daughters got me this for Father's Day, which was a very much an, a very much so it's a very much appreciated present. So. Open her up, and we'll see what the we'll see what the difference is in, in quality. In. Well, you got to put your own bodies on. Put the box over here. It's a level two skill out of five, so I should be all right. So. As you'll see, the quality of the figures is up to Lego standard, but for the price you pay for these sets, they are, some of the sets are quite good. And, and, and if you brought the bits from Lego, from, from Bricklink or one of the other Lego, one of the other Lego sites, you probably would, be able, you probably would be able to get some, some, some good brick, um, there's some good models off it, but they do seem to have some of their own bits as well. But we'll build the astronaut first. See, the head is a bit misshapen, I think, but. I don't think I could ever really, really start collecting this, but though some of the actual vehicles, some of the actual design of the vehicles is actually quite good. If you look at some of the sets you, you actually buy, some of the sets they sell in Wilkinson's, if you actually look, look, look at the actual, the actual boats and stuff, and let's say if you collected Lego Friends, you could find some some uh, some cheaper ways of actually getting of, of actually getting of getting the Lego Friends figures up and stuff like that, but it's, but it, but it is like horses for courses and depends how much money you've got and and how fussy and how fussy your kids are. I mean the helmets are a lot bigger than Lego as well, but they do come with a visor, so. There we go, there's the hands. The arms on. It's like having to build the figure from completely from scratch is a little bit disconcerting, but. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around. Ah. Not reading the instructions. The good news is with these sets you can actually just move the arms. Oh, I could have marked up and move over, don't mind. But I suppose the good thing with these figures is because they come apart, you can actually build them. This is the first time I've ever built these before, so and the hands move a little bit more as well. So there we have our Wilkinson's astronaut, which isn't isn't that bad. Now we've got to start building. I'll start building the ship now. So. 
All the parts are pre pretty much Lego, but without Lego written on them. So they've got the plastic, they, they've got, in the, in, in the last 10 years or so, Lego have actually relaxed their um, grip on this market, which has enabled a lot of companies to actually to actually um, to actually build um, compatible sets, and therefore making the whole market a bit more open. So. So this is one of the first Wilco sets I've ever really, I've never really, I've ever really built. So I'm just going to see, see if the quality holds up as well. So because sometimes when you, there is there, people, there are there are there are people who say the cheaper stuff isn't just isn't as good. So but. It's easy to say that when you when you can afford to buy the good stuff, so as well. So, One of those. Cool. what we have so far overall it's quite a nice shape the actual there we go they've tried to follow in the same vein as lego so which is quite good And they have used some pieces that Lego also use as well. So, I do actually like to build um, other, other. I will build other construction sets on my on my channel. I don't do it all the time. I generally stick to normal Lego, but sometimes. Sometimes there is something that's that's that is actually quite. Sometimes they, they can be some of the sets can be quite good. So these bits go under here. holding together too well at the moment but I'm quite sure there's more bits to go on so that's what we have so far for it some more bits to go on They've got some slight different colouring from Lego as well, so if ever you find a box, you, you will be able to tell from the actual colour, the colouring, so. Now we've got to put some weapons on the side. aerials as well so
is going on this side. So a double sided Lego block here. Here's one of the cannons as well. This one will go on this side here. Build another one of these. This time from the opposite side. these on here like so, try and get them in the same place, not quite sure it's the right, never sure if it's the right place but make sure it's, always make sure it's the same place. That's what we have so far for it. I don't know how it is. Yes, these sets can also be, an, be another way of getting those um, pieces you need for your Lego as well, if, if you actually look at the right set. Because some of these, some of these bits you could do a, do a swap out on as well, so they do have that potential. Make your own steering wheel as well. Not bad. They come with the, what I call a standard Lego seat. They haven't, haven't really made their own one at all, so. bit goes on the front. Then we have one of these little bits, two by ones go in here. Now we've got to make the engine, the bit where the um, engines go on, so. This is a bit more fiddly than Lego, I do think, but these bits are quite good. I do, it has to be said. They've got an angle on them, they move, and they've got a one bit on there, so Lego could take note of that one a little bit. That's, what, well, that's my personal opinion anyway. No, that 
face. I think I might have spotted a design flaw, but we'll see how it, see how it pans out. I'm kind of hoping it's not, but standard, standard Lego design there, so. Right, this bottom bit does seem to just come out. I'm not sure if it's meant to do that or. The good thing about these sets is there's no stickers, which is always a bit of a bugbear with me, so. Done something wrong. It's not as quite as smooth on the connection front with, with, the, with these sets, I do find, but try and see if this is a spare bit or not, because that can go on there. That's no, not a spare bit. Wilco's obviously don't the, the the company that makes these clearly doesn't believe in putting the spare, giving you spare bits. But overall, not a bad, not a bad build, not a, not a horrendously bad model. You can put the, your figure in there. Oh, bloody hell. The legs are very stiff on these models, so they don't, doesn't, doesn't add to playability, really, but. I hope they loosen up because I don't think Lego will worry too much about the competition with these, but as a spaceship, it's actually quite good. It's got the big engines, it's got the um, laser, it's got the lasers on it, it's got the weapons on it. It's a it could be modded, it could very easily be remade into you could definitely. Um, rebuild it with Lego bricks into, um, or we could incorporate in, into a space Lego collection. I know traditional collectors wouldn't wouldn't do that, but it's a bit fiddly as well. It doesn't like staying together too much, but that's just Lego for you, though. So let me get this right again because. I'm a, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like this, so. Is that right? Let's have a look. Nearly there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That goes there then. About there. Yeah. Overall, like I say, overall, not a bad chip. It, it, it's a, it's, it'd be a good build. You, you, you could, you could do some. If you built this through Bricklink, you could you, you could build a very good space um, space Lego ship. You could probably build some 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 additions to the space Lego fleet as well. With with, with a few modifications, I reckon it's not a bad build, but very very good value for money. 
So you can't you can't force it. You can't really force it on from a financial point of view. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or feedback about this about this about any, about anything in this video, please feel, please feel free to leave, to leave the comments at the end. I'd like to thank my regular subscribers who watch and hope they keep watching. I won't be building Wilco's Lego all the time because uh, I just won't. I, I won't be. I won't be buying it all the time because there isn't there isn't really enough there to. Really, there's enough good. There's enough proper Lego out there to, to actually keep me going. So um, overall, a very good build, and I'd like to thank regular subscribers: Blocky Talky, Captain Redbeard. And, and 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 all my regulars, um, do apologise if I've forgotten you. Please feel, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe and keep building. Thank you.